I'm Philip Burt and I came to Beaver uh, about seven years ago to initially look at the shoot and taking it up a grade, something I've done all my life. The real thing with the, uh, with the shoot here, let's start with the castle. You know, it, we have uh, overseas guns mainly that stay in the castle. Um, and then we also have Croson Lodge, which is a, an eight bedroomed shooting lodge with a, uh, uh, a wonderful sort of a boy's day away, if you like. It's got a bar and a dining room and a snooker room and, and very comfortable. So there are days that we do run two days on the same day. Uh, we're shooting over uh, 15,000 acres. And so one team of guns never sees the other, uh, but it does mean that we can get uh, the quantity of guns and the quantity of days uh, through in, in a sort of five month season. Today was really probably one of those difficult days because uh, we had rain overnight and then it, it carried on raining uh, and uh, we held on until uh, uh, midday and we got to the first drive around one o'clock. But we have such a selection of uh, drives and a quantity of birds that uh, we can sort of get the bag pretty much uh, in the afternoon. And then the important thing to us was that uh, not to be shooting in torrential rain when the birds are wet. So we hung on and it worked very well. So it's a beautiful October afternoon and we're at Beaver Castle in Lincolnshire and we're shooting partridge. Now it's a little bit later than we'd normally start, well, it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It has been a little bit wet and damp today, I think that's an understatement. It was a torrential downpour when I first arrived at quarter to nine this morning. But we've made the best of the time, the guys have had a good look around the estate, a good look around the house. Uh, we've enjoyed some champagne and slow gin, a cup of soup and waited for the rain to stop. And I actually don't think we've missed anything from the day. It's been a magnificent day so far. We've had more time uh, to meet and connect and have a chat than we normally would do, which is great. Uh, and everybody's even more determined now to get on with the shooting. Now, there's not much wind today, uh, but equally, there's good cloud cover, so the birds won't be necessarily too scared of the sun. But hopefully, there'll be enough wind to get under the wings of the partridge and give us some good birds. Now, the shooting here is always very good. It's always a, a pleasure and a privilege to be able to shoot at such a magnificent estate as Beaver Castle. It's great to have the Duchess come down, say hello, welcome you for the day. And it really does give it that sense of occasion. So really enjoying the day so far and looking forward to a great afternoon. The great thing with shooting is that it's a social occasion and you know we had torrential rain this morning and yet uh, at Beaver there's always something to do so we, uh, we organised a trip around the castle and the, and the secret is not just to drag guns out in torrential rain or thick fog. The, the conditions here I always make sure that it's either absolutely right or we won't shoot. Having said that I can't remember I think we had one day cancelled last year and, and as I say today, torrential rain this morning, but we still managed to get out. We shot the bag that the guns were requiring. And you know, it's, it's generally a very gentle day. The appeal to shooting, man has always shot, 
and you know it's not just about shooting the one thing that we do I always feel when I'm away shooting is you do see the countryside I mean beaver really is one of the top ten shoots in the country and so it's not all about pulling the trigger it's seeing these beautiful lakes the woodland and and general topography which I think we can boast at Beaver being uh, one of the best in the country. So yes, it's not about just pulling the trigger, uh, there's something very much more to it.